Okay guys, so we're gonna go from this to this. Okay guys, so I'm outside. It is so cold, but we're gonna get this done. Let's go. Okay, so I watched a video by a, another YouTuber who is from Vancouver. I believe her name is Emma Rose. So I watched Emma Rose's video. She's a Vancouver uh, YouTuber and she did a mirror um, inspired by Sorry, I just, the sun is setting on like a building and it looked like the building was on fire. <laughs> so she did a mirror um, inspired by Gustav Westman, which is a Swedish designer. So he's known for his mirrors that are, uh, put a picture here. He's known for his mirrors, the, they're multiple like pastel colors and the borders of the inside of the mirrors are like squiggly lines. It's really cool. If I could get my hands on one of those mirrors, that would be amazing. So he's also known for his popcorn like foamish. I'll put them here. So I think it's really cool. So I'm not gonna be doing a mirror like Emma Rose did in her video, but I'm gonna be doing a a uh, chair that I have that I just have lying around in the house that I've had for a while that I just use for like different things like for climbing on on if I need to get something off like the kitchen counter or whatever so I'm gonna do that stool and we'll just go to the clip right now so I'll show you the stool that we're gonna use it's like an old Ikea stool that like I don't use anymore you're gonna use low pressure touch uh, foam see here <laughs> it's so cold, but you have to do this outside because it's just like it's not good to smell these things. Hi guys, so it is day one, and this is the foam we're gonna be using. It was my birthday, so I have that. <laughs> I'll show you what we have so far. As you can see, I did like some random pattern. I just obviously didn't cover it all. You need way more than one bottle. I mean, it's my first time, and like I really don't know what I'm doing. So I think I'm just gonna let this dry. That was actually a lot of work. And it was actually really hard to like manipulate the strokes and to manipulate the foam into like how you want it to like turn out to be. Yeah, I mean it was my first time doing it on this stool, on this chair. So I really like it. I have another one of my night tables that I want to do as well. But I want to do this one first and see how it goes. Another thing is, is that it's so bad to like breathe in those toxins. So definitely wear a mask. And I didn't have any protective eyewear. So I just wore sunglasses, but like that wasn't enough. My eyes are like burning a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to like move the stool around on different sides. So let it dry, move it to a side, do it again, move it to another side. Just cause it wasn't really sticking on cause it's like st uh, standing upwards. So yeah, we're just gonna let it dry and we are gonna see how it's gonna look tomorrow. So you do want it to get cured. So you want it to leave it outside for like about 24 hours. But about 24 hours, we're gonna go back and I'm just gonna like see any spots that need any touch-ups and I'm gonna touch it up. After that, I'm going to paint it. I got some white paint. Anyway, so I will see you the following day. Hey guys, so it is day two and I am going to check out. It's actually nice and sunny today and I'm gonna 
just oh wow yeah I thought it was gonna be harder just yeah pretty cool yeah I mean art right <laughs> a little bit more like off-white I'm gonna be here for a bit because <laughs> there's a lot of surface area but it's pretty therapeutic so I will show you the after soon close out this video I forgot to film an outro so this is it so I just wanted to point out a few things that I wish I knew before I started this <laughs> I actually knew this I actually knew that it did expand I just didn't know how much the foam expanded if you are trying it out I would definitely do like a test spot and then wait for it to dry and then see how much it actually expands also using low pressure foam the most important thing is also just like taking your time I didn't take my time because I'm just such I'm always in such a rush and I regret not taking my time also consider the layers that you're putting on that make sure they're even on both sides that it's symmetrical because at the end you'll notice if like one side is more chunky than the others and remember that it's always easier to add than to take away so when you first do your first layer of foam just do um, a small small amount and then after let it dry and if you need to add more add more because again it's just easier to add than to take away especially because if you take away and you like break off the foam it just it won't look good so don't leave it in the sun so if you do live like in a house do it in your garage uh, do it where there's like um, shade just because the sun turns the foam yellow and it's just like not nice especially if you just want to leave it like natural also leave it outside for 24 hours to cure because chemicals or the fumes that it excretes is just no bueno for your for your lungs irritates your lungs that happened to me i left it in the sun and i just painted over it so it took a quick fix as you can see in the video like i ended up just painting it like an off-white so you can paint it any shade you want i know he did a chair where he i think he painted it pink i'll put it here here and next i want to try his wavy mirror maybe i'll try and recreate that or maybe i'll just like buy it <laughs> anyway so those are my few pointers that i have if you want to do try this please tag me if you do end up doing this now i'll just show you the uh setup that i have it in right now which is really cute so this is like the setup i have it in right now so it's just being used as like a side table for the sofa in my living room i like it i really really like how it came out definitely recommend to try it definitely now that we're in quarantine so much time to be creative anyway so comment like and subscribe thanks so much for watching and i will see you uh, in the next video bye bye <laughs>